have reached the Attorney General's hotline. The information provided on this hotline is updated on a regular basis. You should have a pen or pencil available to write down any pertinent information. Please press the number on your telephone, which corresponds to your inquiry. If you would like to file a complaint regarding mortgage fraud, foreclosure rescue scams, or robo-signing fraud, please press zero. If you would like to file a complaint regarding fraud other than a mortgage-related issue, please press 1. For information regarding the Nevada Do Not Call Law, press 2. For information regarding ticket sales and ticket resellers, press 3. For information regarding Nevada's Uber settlement, press 4. For information regarding Navient, press 5. For information regarding Santander Consumer USA, press 6. You have reached the Attorney General's hotline. The information provided on this hotline is updated on a regular basis. You should have a pen or pencil available to write down any pertinent information. Please press the number on your telephone, which corresponds to your inquiry. If you would like to file a complaint regarding mortgage fraud, foreclosure rescue scams, or robo-signing fraud, please press zero. If you would like to file a complaint regarding fraud other than a mortgage-related issue, please press 1. For information regarding the Nevada Do Not Call Law, press 2. For information regarding ticket sales and ticket resellers, press 3. For information regarding Nevada's Uber settlement, press 4. For information regarding Navient, press 5. For information regarding Santander Consumer USA, press 6. With regard to fraud, other than a mortgage-related or foreclosure rescue issue, our office would like to hear from you. If you would like to submit a complaint form to our office, you may visit our website. Our website address is ag.nv dot gov or if you do not have internet access you may write to us directly our mailing address is office of the attorney general 555 east washington avenue suite 3900 las vegas nevada 89101 Attention Constituent Response Unit. They, they're not doing their jobs right, you guys. There should be a fucking phone number to call and talk to somebody. They want everybody to write this in and everything. This isn't for the sole benefit of the people. Make everything easy on them or whatever. To just what? Throw our complaints away? I want to talk to a fucking person. may be reached by dialing 702 320 Small claims court may be reached by dialing 702 671 3116 and should you wish to contact a private attorney the State Bar of Nevada sponsors the Lawyer Referral and Information Service and they may be contacted in Las Vegas by dialing 702-382-0504 or I had to hang up they're, they're not providing the correct information I have to I have to dial up this other thing and see if I can get somebody. Nevada Office of the Attorney General, how may I direct your call? Hi, um... I've called before a couple years ago, uh, maybe the start of this last of uh, this last year uh, or this year. Um, uh, I've I've actually tried to contact uh, Attorney General a couple times, um, 
And when I try to contact uh, the Attorney General, I mean I'm trying to contact the office, officer, Attorney General for the state of Nevada. Um, I okay, have, what is it regarding? I have the ethics manual um, pulled up here, and I have the Constitution of the state of Nevada pulled up here. I have a uh, Crime Victims Bill of Rights pulled up here. I have 5 okay. CFR uh, 2635.101 pulled up here. And I also have um, a uh, county um, of which is full of criminals uh, that act like they're public servants pulled up here. I want to remind the uh, I want to remind the um, attorney general's office that um, a public office is a public trust and shall be held for the sole benefit of the people and not that of the agents working under that office. Um, I've been trying to contact this uh, attorney general, and um, I, 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 I come across this thing. It says, general co comments and concerns. It says, email us. We appreciate. The state of Nevada has expectations. We don't care what you appreciate. You taking the time to contact our office to express your views and concerns or to report suspicious activities. Please be advised that only official file complaints can be accepted that's not for the sole benefit of the people. Why, why is only uh, officially filed complaints this and that? We have a right to remain anonymous. And this is not helpful. This is not getting us any justice. And we need more than this. We expect more than this out of Nevada. Okay, um, on our complaint forms, there is an option to be anonymous. This says emails sent to the below email address containing allegations or complaints will not be tr treated as officially filed complaints. What? Will not be? What, why, is, why is the Attorney General's office telling this, the uh, people of Nevada what they will and will not be doing when the people of Nevada have an expectation under the Constitution and the ethics manuals? Okay? Um... Let me see, uh, right here, where, not only be expected, you know, uh, services where a right to equal protection under the law is duty bound, is not only duty bound to be, or is duty bound to be, uh, not only offered, but also provided. And, um, the last time I called in here, uh, um, I spoke with a couple different um, people at this, uh, of persons at this office, and um, I've been getting mostly just the runaround instead of justice. And um, I've been told, I've been told by your staff, which is a big wrong, that uh, the that oh no, the attorney general doesn't work for um, the people of Nevada; it works for the state actors of Nevada. That's wrong. That's not for the sole benefit of the people. And I've been told that by your office, and, I, 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 and that, that's a practice that needs to discontinue so, today. So what it is, our policy here at the... Your policy is not the law. Your policy, what you think is your policy there, I hope that you're not going to sit here and just uh, attempt to tell me that your policy lets you do this, but, that the, but you're just going to overlook the whole, whole entire uh, Constitution of the State of Nevada and the uh, Commission on Ethics. Because right here it says... Uh, a public uh, officer or employee must commit him, himself or herself to avoid conflicts between his private interests, which would be your guys' policy, and those of the general public whom he serves, which would be us. So I don't really care about your policy right now, and I don't really want to get the lip run around okay, about your well, policy. Well, then, wrong word, sorry, not policy. Our attorneys here in this office, we blase, represent the your attorneys in that office, if you do have attorneys in that office, are uh, 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 Nevada State employees, and they are to be that serving for, state for the sole benefit of the people, not for representing right. state agencies. This, the attorney general was enacted to be is an office, and, 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 and that, that's a specific office as well. When you look up attorney general, it's not supposed to be some uh, place where you call down and get a... Uh, and get a uh, uh, Clerk on the phone? No, the attorney general is supposed to be uh, is the officer in this in this office, and we, we expect that we get him on the on the line. Um, we get we, well, I, I, I want to speak with Mr. Aaron Ford, who I've been trying to call and talk to for about two or three years now, possibly since uh, how, how many years has it has it been? It's been quite a few years. 
since Aaron Ford has been the Attorney General, and I, I still haven't been able to contact the officer, which is a uh, violation of public trust. Um, yeah. Um, there's other routes that I could go with this, but at the same time, I want to call the, uh, I want to be able to call the Attorney General's office. And I don't want to. I, I I want to put a stop. My goal right now is to put a stop to um, the attorney general's office claiming that they work for the state and not for the people. And I want to put an end to the uh, attorney general's office telling the people where they're going to put their complaints, how they're going to put their complaints, and when they're going to put their complaints. Because that's not the truth. That's against Nevada state law. That's a willful nonfeasance, and that makes you guys a violation violator of NRS. Okay. Let me get you over. Um, let me go ahead and transfer you over to our constituent services unit. They'll be able to assist you, okay? Well, yeah, we'll, we'll try that for right now. I can't right. wait to get that on record. Good morning, constituent services. Hi, uh, good morning. Uh, just uh, for starters, I'm going to need the name of the lady I was that just uh, phoned this over to this constituent services. And I also would like your name before we begin, please. May I ask who I'm speaking with? Uh, you could ask, but I'm not going to tell. I'm a, a member, okay. I'm a person, uh, or I'm a people of the state of Nevada, and I, uh, I'm uh, a little bit more educated than most people that call in, and I would like you to... Uh, Identify as the public service agent that you are today. Well, my name is Diane. Thank you, Miss Diane. And my first name is sufficient. Is what? And my first name is sufficient. What can we do for you? Oh, I thought you said proficient. I was like, that's a pretty cool name. No, what can I do for you? Um, I'm calling about uh, several different um, topics and complaints today. Uh, one is. Uh, uh, I've been told that the state of Nevada attorney general is, uh, for one, I got the uh, constitution of the state of Nevada pulled up. I got the ethics manuals pulled up. I got, um, five CFR two, six, three, five point one Oh one pulled up. And I've got the, uh, office of Atten attorney general's website pulled up and I've got a, uh, crime victims bill of rights pulled up. And I've got a, uh, crooked County within the state of Nevada who, uh, is not getting, um, uh, properly handled by the uh, attorney general's office pulled up okay i can show you how to file a complaint with our well office. yeah that's this is office. that's where we're going to have a discussion here because for one if i go to the contacts on um the uh attorney general's website i must uh i, I want to start out with um a public office is a public trust and shall be held for the sole benefit of the people okay that's where we need to be first that's nevada commission on ethics Dear reader, welcome. This manual is prepa prepared pursuant to NRS 281A.290 by the Nevada Commission on Ethics to uh, to assist Nevada's public servants in their efforts to preserve the public trust. The Nevada Legislature de declared the following public policy in 1977 by adopting the ethics in government laws. A public office is a public trust and shall be held for the sole benefit of the people, not for the sole benefit of the attorney general's office or any of their staff. A public officer and or employee must commit himself, herself to avoid conflicts between his pri his her private interests and those of the general public whom they he serves. So that was like the last caller that I was just speaking with who transferred me to you. Um, she attempted to try to tell me about uh, the policy within the attorney general's office. And that is the um, uh, private interests of, uh, of that office. And I don't frankly really care about the private interests of the office. I want, um, I want you guys to be uh, serving the people for uh, whom you serve. And that's the bottom line. That's what the Nevada uh, people can expect. Nevada, uh, we, we have expectations, okay? Um, right. so services where a right. Do you have a request? Services where a end? right. Services where a right to equal protection under the law is duty bound to be not only offered, but also provided by public service agents. So I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to uh, get offered anything today. I'm, get, I'm expecting to get provided things today. 
Well, what is it that you want? Um, for one, I want service agents to uphold the public trust. I've been trying to contact uh, the Attorney General um, for years now, and um, I've been doing a lot of studying, and I've been um, attempting to try to figure out why there's nonfeasance instead of performance. Okay. Why, why, there, why, why is Nevada right with uh, 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 nonfeasance instead of provisions? Yeah, you, you. yeah, but you need to, I need to interrupt you, miss. Okay, we have a procedure here in this office. If you need to get... That sounds like someone, private gain. That sounds like acting for private gain. That okay. don't sound like acting I'm for the sole sorry. benefit of the if people. If you're going to keep on like this, I'm going to end the call. I'm going to have to call back and ask for your supervisor. Here, people, this is how they treat. This is why you don't actually get no help because the attorney general's office thinks that they work for themselves, not for the people. Now, how can they work for the for themselves and not for the people when they are government? They are un, they are under uh, they, that that is, that is uh, way wrong. Oh, back back. Any sense? In the performance of their official duties, public officers and public employees serve the people of the state of Nevada. They're not answering the phones. This is not right. In the performance of their official duties, public officers and public employees serve the people of the state of Nevada, not their own interests, not their own policies and their own procedures. This is what they, that lady was trying to cop out with. Thank you for calling the Office of the Attorney General. At this time, we are experiencing a higher call volume than usual.